Hey guys, and welcome back to Everyday AI, the channel where we talk about how you interact with artificial intelligence in your everyday lives. Now, we've talked about a lot of the different ways that artificial intelligence has ingrained itself into our daily routines, from social media, to generating art, to possibly being in our brains in the future. But what we haven't talked about is how does AI actually work? To start, if you're wondering what the difference between AI and machine learning is, I have a whole other video about that and I will link it somewhere up here. But in short, artificial intelligence is intelligence that is manifested by a machine that we consider to be analogous to human intelligence. Now, just because we consider it to be analogous to human intelligence, doesn't make it complex. There are many aspects of human intelligence that aren't particularly complex. If you're thirsty, you go find some water. Programming and algorithms to do that would only require you to say, if thirsty, find water. It doesn't require a ton of data or other information or statistical analysis to figure out how to do it. However, there are certainly complex tasks that take human intelligence a really long time to pick up. It can take babies months to learn how to walk through a process of trial, error, and growth. Similarly, it can take a long time to learn how to solve a complex problem or perform a complex task. Human intelligence allows us to take all of the information that we've ever encountered, both consciously and unconsciously, and use it to figure out what the correct decision is or the correct way to complete a task. Artificial intelligence does something similar, but with algorithms. In essence, artificial intelligence solves complex problems by statistically analyzing data. A common example is using artificial intelligence to predict the cost of a home based on the size. So if you have data on both the size of a house and the amount of money that it was sold for, you can use those data points to predict a formula for what the relationship between the size of a house and the price might be. From there, you can apply that formula to a home that you know the size of, but you don't know the price of yet. But when we talk about artificial intelligence, we're usually not talking about simple formulas or easily visualizable relationships. In fact, when we talk about artificial intelligence, we're usually talking about deep learning. Deep learning algorithms are inspired by the way that our brains work or by the way that evolution has worked. By having information flow through hundreds or thousands of neurons, we can make complicated decisions based on unclear information. Similarly, by sending information through hundreds or thousands of computational neurons, we can find a relationship between two variables that can help us make better decisions. In fact, these algorithm decisions can be better than humans. Now, why does this work? Well, one of the main reasons is something called nonlinearity. When we looked at the example of predicting the price of a house based on the size of a house, we were largely looking at linear lines. And if you looked at that data on a 2D plot, chances are you could have made a guess at a line that was similar to what the correct formula was. Unfortunately, the most interesting and useful data for the more interesting and complex tasks often isn't that easy to work with. Instead of two variables, you might have 200. Instead of a linear line, you might have a complex exponential one. And instead of two dimensions, you might have 2,000 dimensions. Try to visualize 2,000 dimensions for me. What do you come up with? If you try to look at that data and come up with a formula yourself, you'd probably get lost pretty quick. It's like when you're having a conversation and you realize that you've gotten to such a weird topic that has nothing to do with where you started and you don't really know how you got there. To make it worse, some of that information might be noisy. It might have extra information that doesn't really contribute to your decision. And some of those variables might not even be relevant to the final outcome. However, if you showed it to a deep learning algorithm, it could send that information through all of those computational neurons and output a decision based on a nonlinear formula that it found through all of that complex information. Now, I'm gonna stop here for now because I found when writing the script that when I started going past this point, things got kind of technical and I wanted to keep it more conceptual. But as I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in seeing a more technical explanation, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to develop a series around that. Also, let me know what you think of this new schedule. I normally post on Mondays and I'm moving my schedule to Fridays because it just works better for me. Um, but let me know what you think of that. And as always, if you want to tell me that you like this video or you want to know when I post videos in the future, you can subscribe, like this video, and turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I post a video. 
Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.